Here we have a couple different USB 2.0 over CAT 5 or 6 extenders that all claim to perform at USB 2.0 speeds over long distances. However, we have seen many different comments out there about some of these not delivering what they promise, so we decided to test them to help you decide which one will work better for your needs. For these tests, we will use a 200 foot long CAT 6 cable, a USB 2.0 hard drive, a Passmark USB 2.0 tester, and a Sewell HD webcam. But wait, before we go any further, we need to mention the difference between megabytes per second and megabits per second. To keep it simple, 1 megabyte is equal to 8 megabits. Also, we need to point out that although the advertised speed for USB 2.0 is of 480 megabits per second, the actual speed you will get is of about 360 megabits per second, or 35 to 40 megabytes per second. This is due to many different variables and test results may vary depending on the computer used for testing. With that said, first we will test the U-Link by Sewell. The installation is very easy. First connect the USB cable to the center unit and the computer. Then connect your CAT5 or 6 cable to the sender and to the receiver. Connect the power supply to the receiver and then connect your device, in our case the hard drive. Since the U-Link is plug and play, the computer installs it automatically without the need for you to install any drivers on PC or Mac. First we'll test the U-Link's transfer speeds to the hard drive with this benchmarking software called Crystal Disk Mark. We'll do a 5 pass 50 megabyte test. Once it's done, we get a 26.63 megabyte per second read speed and 38.41 write. We will now do a benchmark test with the Passmark USB 2.0 tester and its software, and we'll let it run for about 30 seconds. As you can see, we get a max speed of 360 megabits per second read and 360 megabits per second write, with an average data rate of 358 megabits per second. Now we plug in this USB 2.0 Sewell HD webcam. When we check on our list of devices, the computer can see it, so we can go onto Skype to test it. But we see that over 200 feet, it does not load the image. So we will try with this 100 foot Cat5 cable. And now we see that it works and the video is really smooth and there is no lag. Again, remember that results depend on many variables and different webcams may or may not work as well over 200 feet. So that's it for this one. Next, we will test the Trip Lite USB 2.0 extender. The specs on the box say it's supposed to transfer up to 480 megabits per second. Note that it's only compatible with Windows XP and later, and it's not compatible with Mac. So here's our remote and local units. So we plug everything in, but before we can plug it into the computer, we need to install the drivers, or else it will not recognize any of your devices. This can be annoying if you will be using it in a setup where different laptops will be sharing the same device. So after installing the drivers and rebooting, we plug it in and launch Crystal Disk Mark. We will again do a 5 pass 50 megabyte test. We get a reach speed of 21.53 megabytes per second and 22.38 megabytes per second write. And now we switch to our Passmark tester. And we get a max rate 360 megabits per second read and 360 megabits per second write with an average data rate of 283 megabits per second. Now we plug in our webcam and see that it does work over 200 feet, but it's a bit laggy. Next up, we have this USB 2.0 extender from Milestech. It also requires drivers to work, and it looks exactly identical to the one from Triplight, but with different stickers. So we plug it in and run Crystal Disk Mark. After the test, we get 21.43 megabytes per second read and 23.69 megabytes per second write. And now we switch to our Passmark tester. And after the Passmark test, we get a max rate of 360 megabits per second read and 360 megabits per second write, with an average data rate of 281 megabits per second. And using it with a webcam, it also works over 200 feet, but with lag. 
Now we will test the Sabrent USB 2.0 extender. So once everything is plugged in, we wait while we install the required drivers which are only compatible with Windows and not Mac. And once everything is installed, we run Crystal Disk Mark and wait for the test to finish. Once it's done, we get a 7.126 megabytes per second read and 6.212 megabytes per second write. Now we switch to the Passmark tester. And after the test, we get a max rate of 360 megabits per second read and 131 megabits per second write with an average data rate of 174 megabits per second. Now we plug in our webcam and we see that it does get seen by the computer. So we open up Skype and test the video. But it does not transmit the video over 200 feet. So we switch to the 100 foot cable. But sadly it doesn't work either. Next we'll test the USB 2.0 extender by Geffen. This one is compatible with PC and Mac. And it does not require you to install any drivers. So we plug everything in and we run our crystal disk mark test. After the test, we get 13.32 megabytes per second read and 39.37 megabytes per second write. Now we switch to the Passmark tester. We get a max of 131 megabits per second read and 98 megabits per second write with an average data rate of 94 megabits per second. Now we test our webcam and we see that we get very smooth video with a 200 foot cable with no lag. In conclusion, the final test results show that even though each adapter has its strengths, the U-Link seems to give you the most advantages for the price. For more information on the U-Link and for a more detailed article on the test results, go to suoldirect.com slash U-Link. Suoldirect.com. Connect anything.